In this video, I want to be showing you how you can create a custom YouTube thumbnail for free without any graphic design experience or technical know-how whatsoever. So stick with me throughout this video and I'm going to be showing you exactly how. What's going on guys, my name is Sen from Internet HD, and on this channel we specialize in tutorials, how you can make money online, and how you can really grow a online presence on the internet. So with that being said, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe because we have a lot more videos planned behind the scenes and a lot more content that's going to be uploaded onto the channel very soon. So again, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. But with that being said, let's start the video. So again, this video is all about creating a thumbnail so you can actually get clicks and viewership to your channel. The tool we're going to be using in today's video is going to be Snapper and Snapper is a free tool that allows you to create thumbnails, YouTube banners, whatever you want pretty much when it comes to graphics. So if we go over here real quick, this is pretty much the um, Google support where they tell you like the size that your YouTube thumbnails actually have to be. So if we go over here, the size is actually 1280 by 720 so this is actually the size of requirement for your thumbnails and normally if you're using any other tool you have to like you know, you know manually do this by yourself but within Snapper you know it's a free tool and if you go over here you can actually use this YouTube thumbnail template with the appropriate dimensions right here 1280 times 720 you know all set up for you automatically which is pretty helpful so let's get straight into it so let's click on YouTube thumbnail right here and if we load up this page you can see that we have a vast variety of different templates we can choose from so like look at all different templates that we can choose and use for our YouTube thumbnails like it's just amazing and let's go ahead and use this one right here because it looks pretty professional so let's go ahead and click on this and we can literally just add this thumbnail and make it our own so we can upload it to our own YouTube channel and make this our own thumbnail so we can literally do whatever we want with this okay so let's go ahead and actually customize this template from scratch so what we can do here is add the text first of all so let's go ahead and make that capital and we're gonna add the text so how to gain more followers okay there we go and what we can do is add this icon so as you can see it's pretty much two icons of the computer actually no it's multiple different icons okay fair enough so what we can do is actually delete this and we can go to graphics right here and we can add a youtube icon so let's just search up youtube and see what comes up okay so we can choose a variety of different logos so i'm not sure which one i should choose let's just choose this one right here i could put this in the middle so you know it's displaying youtube on the computer and what we can do now is we can change the background color so let's change this to red and now what i want to do is change this background right here to white because i want to have the, you know that youtube feel to my thumbnail so you know have like the red color and the white color as the background so if we go to background over here and if we go to color we can change the orange background to white so it looks has that youtube thumbnail feel feel to it you know because this is obviously going to be a thumbnail for how you can gain more followers on youtube right so there you go we originally made this template that you can see on screen right now and turned it into this and you want to be able to tell right like it just looks completely unique it looks amazing it's just an amazing thumbnail and if i was actually like making a video on how you can get more followers or subscribers on youtube like this would be a perfect thumbnail that i could use for that and we just created this from scratch using a template within snapper for free without using photoshop without any technical skills like you literally watched me like live create this without like any effort whatsoever so now if you want to get really creative and create a thumbnail from scratch using snapper i'm going to be showing you how you can do that in just a moment but what we want to do now is actually click on save and we want to actually download this image right here so we can you know upload this thumbnail to our youtube channel or our youtube video more specifically right so just click on the download button right here and click on the png because it's the better quality one compared to the jpeg just click on this and you'll be able to download your image and there you go you can use your thumbnail right off the bat like i just can click this button right here and i have like the image right here it's you know owls now to use and it's that simple so let's go ahead and click on back and we'll be creating a thumbnail from scratch now okay so let's go ahead and create a thumbnail from scratch without using any of the templates so let's click on this blank image right here and we'll be able to create a thumbnail completely from scratch without using any templates so the first step when creating a thumbnail using a blank template is to add some sort of background to it so what you can do is search up a keyword for the type of image you want so let's just say you want to choose the keyword marketing 
we can click on any of the images right here. So let's click on this and this will be our background. And what we can do also is add some color to that. So this can actually overlay on top of the original background and we can make this add some blur to it to really, you know, mix the blue color with the marketing background for this example. And we can make that a little bit more higher. And there you go. And the next step pretty much is to add some shapes and I'm going to be creating a thumbnail like the one on screen right now. So this is obviously going to be the end result, but stick with me and I'll show you how you can do this from scratch right now live. So let's click on this rectangle right here. There we go. And we can enlarge this and we're going to put it in line like this. There you go. So it's in line on the thumbnail right here. So let's change the color and let's make this blue, blue, purple. I'm not sure what will actually go well. Let's just choose yellow, I guess. Actually, blue will be all right. <laughs> okay, so if we go to text, we can add some text through our thumbnail. Let's put in the text how to make a thumbnail fast in 2019. Okay, I'm not sure what to put in the text. That will do. I'll just make that in line and we can change the color to the text to white because I think that looks a little bit more better. All right, so we're making some progress so far. So let's zoom out to see how our thumbnail looks so far. And that looks really, really good. So this is how your thumbnail is going to look on mobile because it's pretty like far away. So it's pretty, you know, appealing, like it's pretty eye catching. So let's make this thumbnail even better by going to shapes right here and by clicking this right here. And what we can do is actually add some underlying lines to make the uh, thumbnail pop out a little bit more. So we're going to be putting this right here under each text heading. So let's make this white and let's go ahead and just put this out just a little bit more. Same process, we're gonna be going over here and moving this, and there we go. Doesn't that look better already? Like we made the thumbnail look even better and let's go ahead and zoom that out, see what it looks like. That looks pretty professional in my opinion. Like I'm not sure if icons will really go well with this. So let's see if there's any good icons that might match or go well with the thumbnail. I guess I'll just leave it the way it is. That looks pretty clean and again, I'm just gonna click on save. I'm going to click on download to download this image once it stops saving. <laughs> um, we're going to click on download right here and click on high res PNG. And that's going to ensure that we download the thumbnail in the best possible quality so that it looks good on YouTube. Okay, so it's downloading the image right now. And we're just going to click on this right here. And as you can see, the image is downloaded like the thumbnail is ours to use. We can use it on our YouTube channel right now. And there you go. I just showed you how you can create a thumbnail from scratch and how you can create a thumbnail using templates. So either way, if you want to create a thumbnail from scratch like I did here, or if you want to create a thumbnail using the templates, you can do that very quickly and very easily. Okay, so I'm actually uploading a video on an example channel just as an example of how you'll actually customize and upload your thumbnail. So just click on the customize thumbnail section right here as your video is uploading and you can do this in your video manager as well. Click on customize thumbnail and you just choose your file that you downloaded from Snapper and just add that to your video. And that's how you pretty much add a thumbnail to YouTube video. And it's that simple. All right, so one more last tip before we end the video. Now, this is going to be a tip for actually enabling custom thumbnails to your YouTube account because for a lot of you guys watching this video, you probably won't be able to even upload your YouTube thumbnails to your YouTube videos because you don't have it enabled on your YouTube channel. So the first step, obviously, is to have a YouTube channel. And if you haven't already made a YouTube channel already, we actually have a tutorial for that as well. So you can go and watch that after this video or you can go watch another tutorial after this video. Anyway, if we go over here and we go to create a studio, so let's click on YouTube Studio Beta, click on Create a Studio Classic here, and this is going to take us to the Classic Studio. And then we want, what we want to do is actually go over to Channel, and if we go to Channel, we want to actually make sure that we have our account verified. Now, as you can see, because my account isn't verified, I can't actually upload custom thumbnails to this YouTube channel. So if I was actually making videos on this YouTube channel, even though I made a custom thumbnail within Snapper, I wouldn't be able to actually upload it until I verify my account. So what you want to do is pretty much verify your account and they're going to be asking for your phone number and they'll be sending you a text code or you can ask them to give you a call where they give you an automated voice message, which is going to be, you know, giving you some sort of code so you can verify your account. So once you do that, that, you will have your um, account fully enabled and verified and then you'll be able to have a custom thumbnail onto your YouTube channel and that's pretty much it.
Thanks for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials and helpful guides when it comes to succeeding with YouTube as well. I'm going to be making a lot more videos regarding that, but yeah. Thanks for watching today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.